What's going on guys? So today we'll be doing the draft map conquest. This is going to be a conquest tutorial for beginners or anyone who struggles with conquest that needs some help or doesn't understand how conquest works. Now, I, this is a more of an easier conquest. I do have harder conquest maps on my channel, the extreme conquest, the USA conquest, and a bunch of other ones. Those will be in the playlist down in the description below and a link at the end of the video as well. But the first thing you want to do is check your goals. That's going to be the most important part because there could be goals in here that might, that might be time limited. So you guys got to check your goals. This one's just straightforward, capture territories and you're good to go, which is the objective of conquest to begin with. However, sometimes you'll see, hey, capture the Colorado Rockies on the first turn. And then that means in the bottom right, it says what turn you're on, you have to capture that stronghold and beat the Colorado Rockies on the first turn, which means I would have to go from here all the way over here on the first turn and beat the Colorado Rockies. Obviously, I don't think they would go that extreme, but they might go like to like Cleveland. You might have to go to Cleveland and beat them on the first turn. That's some of the missions that you might see in the goals. So not only do you have to basically take over every single position on the map, you also have to complete every single goal to get credit for completing the conquest map. So you must make sure that you guys check your goals before completing it just to make sure. Now this conquest has a repeatable goal because it's the draft conquest and this is where you get the 95 overalls in this pack. There's 12 of them total. So you have to do this conquest map four different times to get every player for free. So because the objective is to capture every strong or every territory on the map, we want to basically block everyone else from spreading out too far. So what we do when we when we do these conquest maps is we go down and we don't even capture like every territory as we go down. We our goal is to get over to where Kansas City's at and block them. So they can't spread out, they can't go nowhere, and then we block them. And then we start going to the other team and start blocking them, which would be the Angels. They can't get out, they can't go nowhere. And then finally we go all the way down and finish filling in the territories down below. Now, we don't steal fans. Sometimes steal fans can be in the goals, but recently in the past years, it has not, maybe the Extreme Conquest. So we skip that. So you press Start, skip to reinforce, and now you're gonna reinforce and do the same thing that we just did right now to the other side. Obviously, you can't reinforce with a lot of fans yet. The more territories you own, the more fans you will have to reinforce with. So that's another part that's important and why we try to get all the empty spots first. So we go down here, we block Cleveland, and then we start moving our way down and we're gonna try and block the A's, which we can't quite block them, but we get pretty close. Then we do the same thing. We skip the reinforce again, reinforced by the A's, and we're gonna do the same thing. But this time, oh, they're in the way, right? Well, we can skip, we can simulate those games. Those aren't stronghold games. They aren't their main territory, so we just simulate. If we lose, we lose, and we reinforce again. We won those ones, so now we keep on going down, lock them. They can't spread out, and we keep on going down towards Pittsburgh. And then once again, we reinforce. Now, this is where the strategy comes in. There's one, two, three, four, five possible empty spots that we can get into. We're not gonna attack anyone yet, so we're gonna put one over the max possible, which is six. And I'll move my camera so you can see that a little bit better. So now we have six in that spot. And then we go up. Let's say we want, oh, there's four up here, so we want five. So we could fill that spot. We start filling in the rest of the empty slots. So we got one right there. We got, put three right there. Always one over, however empty, however many empty spots there are. We only have one left, so we'll put it in one of the spots where we only need one, so we'll put it right there. Then we have move fans. We skip the move fan phase, go back to attack, and then we're gonna attack those empty spots and just get those covered as fast as possible. So we got one, and then we got two, two, one right there. And then on the other side, we had this one right here and these ones down here. 
So five, four, three, two. They took out, out one of the empty spots. We'll just try to win that spot. We won it. That's like a 50-50 on the win. All right. So now we still have empty spots to get, which we're still going to get the empty spots. And then we'll worry about the rest of the territory. So there's three. There's six right there. So we'll put seven. Um, there's three right here. So we put four. And there's five right here. So we put six. And then there's one. One. And then on the other side, we got a couple spots, I guess. And we only have one left. So it doesn't really matter. We'll put it right here. So now, skip to attack once again. We're going to attack right here first. And five, four, three, two, and one. Three, two, one. And then five, four, three, two, one. And then over right here, we have this one right here for one. And then this one right here for one. And then on the other side, I think we also had one more up here right there. So now we can do, do the same thing again. This time we only got one right here. As you guys see, we're getting a lot more to reinforce. We have four right here, so we'll put five. We also have four right here, so we put five. Uh, we have two, so we put three. And we have three, so we put four. And then we have one, two, three, four, five, so we put six. And then that should cover most of the rest of the map, and then we get on to the next step. Now we have some extras right here, so we'll just put the extras right there. It does not matter. I'll show you what you can do with that in the move phase fan or move, yeah, move fans phase. So now we skip the move fans phase right now, and we go attack three, two, one, five, four, three, two, one, three, two, one, and then five, four, three, two and one and five four three two and one and then finally this one right here one and then down here five four and then we could attack we could just waste those fans and see if we can win now we got two against four but whatever just attack does not matter the simulations you lose those it literally means nothing so might as well try to try to squeak those ones out and see if you can get them now we're onto the steel fans again. So now we're gonna reinforce, and this is where we will start playing the games. We have 10 games on this map to play. This is when you guys will start playing them when you guys are facing the stronghold. I am gonna show you guys a simple example of a few tips, beginner tips that you need to know, <clears throat> need to know about this. So we're gonna start with the A's to show you these tips and I'll have to reinforce. I don't have to specifically beat any team by any churn so I could skip churns as much as I want but I'm going to put like 12 fans right here and show you guys something and then I'll, after that I will show you guys exactly what you'll do um, for the rest of the map but I want to show something off real quick so you guys know about it so let's go ahead right here and put the rest of the fans right here so we're going to go attack over, we're going to go attack the A's first okay so we go to attack, we simulate that one, it's not a stronghold. You only play the ones you have to play. But now here's another tip. So when you go to attack the A's, it says that you have to play on all-star. You do not have to play on all-star. So what we do, if you run into that issue, which on this map you really shouldn't run into that issue, but if you were to run that issue and you don't have to beat them by a certain turn, then what you would do, you would skip the steel fans phase, press start, skip the steel fans phase, skip the reinforce phase, and then reinforce that territory again until you have more fans. Now I will move these fans over here because now we're probably going to play this game. But so now when you attack, now it's on rookie difficulty. So if you ever run into that issue, just skip to steal fans, skip to reinforce, reinforce that territory a second time, and then attack again. And then you'll never have to play any of these games on a high difficulty. You can play on rookie or veteran. I wouldn't recommend playing Conquest on All-Star Hall of Famer Legend. No reason to make it harder for yourself when you don't have to, especially if you're very new at the game. If you want to challenge yourself, go ahead. But even, even myself, I don't want to challenge myself. I want to be able to chill relax, grind some PXP, and just 
sit back and just destroy the computer. All right, for the second tip, it's going to be in the gameplay. Now, you guys aren't going to see gameplay. Otherwise, this video would be like three hours, two hours long. But what happens, I play on veteran just because, I don't know, I don't want to play on the lowest difficulty. So we play on veteran. And then your next tip, which I'm also not going to do because I'm trying to par parallel card, is always select your number five starter. Why? Why select your number five starter? Because you'll face their number five starter which is their worst starter. Their lowest overall starter will be number five. So if you pick your number five starter every single time, you will face their number five starter every single time. And that's just another easy tip. That way you face the worst pitching possible every single time. But in my case, I'm trying to parallel Paul Skeen, so I'm gonna pick the number four starter, and then I will see you guys after the game. All right, we beat the Oakland A's, and now we're going to be moving on to our next team. So now what we're going to do is we're going to attack and get the rest of these territories that we need. So let's go ahead and do that. And then I'll show you guys that we skipped the skill fan, and we just reinforced once again. So now we're just going to go reinforce towards the A's. So skip to reinforce. Go ahead, boom. Done right there. And now on the move fans phase, we take these fans and we put them over here. And then now we just attack just like we did before. Go ahead and attack. Boom. We'll get that territory. We'll get this territory. Skip it. And then we'll finally be on the stronghold, which we will play and do the same thing over again. I will see you guys after the game. All right. We beat the Cleveland Guardians. We also have a will spin after our next game. So that's going to be exciting as well. And now we're going to go ahead and reinforce. Let's go after the Reds, I think, next. So we'll skip to reinforce. We'll go out the, after the Reds. The most fans you can have in a territory is 99. So eventually you're going to be overlapping fans, but that's okay. So we're just going to go ahead and move every fan that we possibly can right over here. And then now we are going to attack and move on to the next game, which is going to be against the Cincinnati Reds. Once. All right, and I will see you guys after this game. All right, so we beat the Cincinnati Reds, and let's go ahead and get to that next game. But first, we have a special thing for the video. We have a wheel spin. So let's go ahead and do that and see what we can get. Obviously, we want gold or diamond. We've gotten one diamond. We've gotten one gold. We get another silver here. That is going to be five packs. We'll save that for the end of the video. So now we'll go ahead and skip to reinforce. We'll reinforce right here and then move our fans from here to here. And we should be good to go to attack our next team, which is going to be Kansas City. So let's go ahead and do that. There we go. Attack them right there. And then we'll attack right here. In fact, we'll attack all the empty spots and then we'll go after the stronghold. So we got one right there and then we're going to have one right below that right here and now we're going to go play against kansas city and i will see you guys after the game all right so we beat the kansas city royals we have about i think six games to go one two three four five six exactly six games to go so let's go ahead and reinforce and we're going to face the cardinals next we have 35 right there and then we'll just move these guys over here as many as we can and then we'll go ahead and go after the cardinals in the next attack so we'll go ahead attack those two fans get that and then attack the 11 fans get that and then we'll be on the stronghold game and then we'll be ready to go and we're almost to the finish line if you guys are following along let me know in the comments down below and let's i'll see you guys after the game all right so we beat the st louis cardinals and i believe now we are five games away from being done we have one two three four five games so now we're going to go ahead and reinforce towards the angels and we are going to be facing the angels in the very next game let's go ahead and go ahead and move these fans over here and then we are set to go we'll simulate this one right here and then we will also go ahead and simulate this one right here and we are ready for our next game in just a second that simulation took forever we lost some fans but that's okay 
I will see you guys after the game. All right, we beat the Angels on to the next team. We also got some parallels. Derek Jeter, Salvador Perez. Now we're going to reinforce on the bottom. There's a lot of territories on the bottom, so we're just going to get and tackle out as many of those as those we can. Let's go ahead and move our fans over down here and just get rid of a lot of the territories down here. That way we just have the strongholds left to get done. All right, we just have Washington left. Let's go ahead and get their stronghold done, and I'll see you guys after the game. All right, so we beat the Washington Nationals, and now we are ready to move on to the next game. And we also got Paul Skeen's P5, 48 of 48. That's my first top 100 P5, I think. All thanks to this Conquest map, doing it four times definitely helped out there. We'll go ahead and reinforce, and we will work on the Pirates next. All right, let's play the Pittsburgh Pirates, and I will see you guys after the game. All right, Pittsburgh Pirates are conquered. Let's move on to the next team. Next up is going to be the Chicago White Sox. I will see you guys after the game. All right, Chicago White Sox conquered. We have one team left until the end of the video, and we are done with this conquest map, and that's going to be the Colorado Rockies. So let's go ahead, take care of them now. And I'll see you guys after the game. All right, we conquered the Colorado Rockies, which means the conquest map is over. We got our draft pack, our last three cards that we needed. But anyways, I hope this video did help you out, but we still have some packs. I said that we had gotten from the wheel spin. We got twist drops, but I'm not gonna open those up in this video today. We just have these five standard packs that we got from our wheel spin. So let's see if we get lucky in those five packs, but hopefully you guys did enjoy this video and it did help you guys learn conquest or complete the conquest map or whatever it may have helped you guys with. Or you guys just were kind of grinding the conquest map while watching the video and kind of just help you guys get through the conquest map. But we have three more cards and that's how you get all of the cards for the all-star collection. You get 12 of them just from doing this conquest map over and over and over again until you get all three of those cards or all 12 of those cards and you guys can do the all-star uh collection much much easier anyways hope you guys enjoyed the video if you guys did give it a thumbs up comment down below subscribe if you're new turn notifications on i'll see you guys in my next video and if you guys need any help with any other conquest map check out these